Hey, what's going on, uh, everyone? This is Keel Dyken. Just wanted to uh, put this video up for all of you for a very important news update. The Raspberry Pi 5, it looks like it's been uh, delayed. Um, I know the initial launch date was supposed to be tomorrow, October 23rd, but as you can see, uh, it's not coming out now until the end of December for a lot of companies. Now, I know that uh, Canakid here has these available for pre-order, uh, which is really phenomenal. I know well, this is one of the websites that didn't have anything available. However, you can pre-order it now, but it looks like it's not shipping until uh, late December. In fact, uh, even Micro Center, I was planning on heading over there uh, tomorrow, but they, but before I actually head down there, I, I checked the uh, order date uh, yesterday and they moved their date back to November 3rd. So uh, if you guys recall and you follow my other social media pages, uh, one of the vendors who's in Australia said they won't be getting their Raspberry Pi 5s until approximately either March or April. And that's in Australia. So uh, it definitely looks like these dates have been pushed back. I know a couple of other vendors, there's been some other vendors. I, I can't remember their names at the moment, but they've pushed their dates back until, especially for, as far as their cases around March or April as well. Now I haven't seen anything else in regards to let's say the Pi Hut or several other of these websites. Uh, I ordered from a couple of other ones like the Pi Hut. They have not updated their date. So I don't know when these will be available. I know that most of the companies who are approved resellers should start taking the pre-orders now. If you guys remember, a lot of people said that they were sold out or you couldn't pre-order. Well, they never even launched theirs. I know Pi Hut and several other companies started theirs uh, the date that the Raspberry Pi 5 was initially mentioned. So, but they weren't, they didn't have any links available as far as a pre-order. So there isn't any news updates in regards to the Pi Hut as to when they're going to officially ship, but it does look like uh, we're looking at towards the end of the year, uh, towards either the end of November or December for a lot of these other places. Now, I did speak with Micro Center. They weren't exactly sure as to when they're going to get theirs in. Uh, I can't be too positive if this date is going to be the same. I know it may be fluctuating, so you may just have to keep watching the website as to when you can get a Raspberry Pi 5, but I'm pretty much uh, certain as far as the can of kits, uh, because I know even when I ordered mine from Raspberry Pi 4, they had their pre-orders and I didn't get mine until weeks later. So yeah, the end of December, early January, for those of you who are going to order from Canakit, maybe some of these other affiliate companies, approved resellers, you're not going to get yours until either December or... January, maybe February in regards to the Pi 5. So it really makes me wonder why did they, you know, launch it or mention it so early if it's not going to be pushed back until like another three or four months for some of these companies. You know, typically when the Raspberry Pis, you know, usually come out, they make their launch date or mention it and then it's already in store and you're not having to wait. Uh, this long of a period in order to get it. We know that there's been a quite a few reviews out there. I know uh, some of you have been lucky and fortunate enough to get some of your Raspberry Pi 5s. And uh, I know, too, there's also been a backlog as far as trying to find the right power adapters. I know I wanted the black one. Uh, they got some pretty cool stuff here. But um, there, I know as far as the black case or the black power supply, that's been really hard to find uh, online. Those have really been sold out or even really haven't been posted too much. But Canakit has some pretty cool stuff here. I mean, look at this. This is a pretty nice case. You get the fan. Uh, you get the heat sink. Really nice case. In fact, this resembles the model that I bought for the Raspberry Pi 3 a few years ago. Not as sophisticated. Didn't have a fan or anything, but uh, still kind of carries the same form factor. Uh, their starter kits are going for $159.95. Uh, this one is shipping. Again, all of them ships uh, late December for the starter kit. Uh, the starter kit here, $159.99, uh, ships late November for, let's see, Pi 5, a gigabyte model, the, just the board only, ships late December. So November, December, January, February is pretty much what you're looking at. Um, I can't estimate a time frame as far as some of the UK customers, but you guys have an official store there uh, for the Raspberry Pis. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys a heads up as far as the announcements. Again, Micro Center had theirs October th uh, 23rd, which was supposed to be tomorrow. 
Um, I was going to take my sleeping bag and tent and go camp out and see if I can just grab one. And a lot of these other stores, I know Micro Center, they had something on their website. I think it may have been Instagram saying that they were only going to do one per customer. So you would need to uh, take a bunch of friends or buddies or maybe an extra doggy or whatever. You guys get the point just to see how many of these you can actually get. Uh, but um, I, I do anticipate these being some top sellers. We know there really hasn't been a lot of development yet in terms of what the Raspberry Pi 5 can do. We really haven't seen uh, some of the aspects in terms of what it can do uh, in terms of, you know, the full performance because nobody really has them. There hasn't been any devs really posting a lot of stuff in terms of the full performance. But late November, uh, okay, so it looks like here the Raspberry Pi 5 4 gigabyte version will be available towards late the November. So it looks like those are going to come in a little bit faster than the Raspberry Pi 5 8 gigabyte models. And if you guys have uh, been following my other videos, I mentioned to get the 8 gigabyte model for emulation. We'll, we'll be working on some newer projects, which will require uh, some additional RAM. So make sure you get the 8 gigabyte model if you plan on using some of our projects. But uh, just wanted to keep you guys uh, updated, give you the heads up. I mean, this is going to be a phenomenal board. We'd love to see uh, what we can really do with it. I know we already have a build working for it. And when I get mine, I'll uh, do a quick showcase to show you guys what we can compile. Uh, I've been working on compiling Yuzu. Uh, the fortunate thing is a lot of the work that we work have here for the Orange Pi 5 can be moved over. Thank God that we got a head start to find out what was what for another single board computer in terms of some of the video players and whatnots and uh, some of the new optimizations we can definitely add. So uh, we're ahead of the curve. We'll get all that stuff for you. But again, uh, this is a cool board. Um, I don't actually know what the need or um, who the Raspberry Pi 5 is really tailored for. For example, when we migrated from the Pi 3 to the Pi 4, we knew that it had more power. We obviously knew that more people would take advantage of it. But considering this single board computer, this is probably the the most demanding in terms of power uh, because it needs a 27 watt power supply. Uh, and this could be clocked to three gigahertz. I don't know who this is specifically tailored for. Um, I, as far as gaming, yeah, we could do PS2 emulation with this. Um, as far as video editing, yeah, but as far as some of the other single board uh, computer tinkering uh, individuals out there, different different demographics, I don't know who's really going to take advantage of this board or who really needs that amount of power. I mean, I, obviously, I know that the computations and having that video card, <clears throat> the video graphics is really going to help. Uh, again, it has LPDDR4X, uh, DR, DDR RAM. 4K 60 F per, uh, per second, but I, I can't quite place my finger on who is this tailored to for that additional power consumption, especially like let's say if you're building a security system or uh, a little small robotics. Uh, obviously, it's not going to pull all that power consistently, but uh, is somebody really going to take advantage of going from a Pi 4 to a Pi 5 and really need that additional power? So I guess uh, depending upon what current projects uh, that are available, we'll have really have to see uh, how some of these new softwares uh, will integrate with the board to see exactly if it fully needs a full aspect. Uh, you are paying a little bit more for this. We all know that the Raspberry Pi 4s, 5s, they started out at around 25, 35 bucks, and then they kind of went up to about 55 to about, I think it was 75 for the 8 gigabyte now. And so now uh, we are at $80. So um, I do have some more videos I'm going to post as a co quick comparison between the Orange Pi 5. Uh, and also the Raspberry Pi 5. Again, the Raspberry Pi community is the largest. It is the most supported. So obviously that trumps anything that any other single board computer can offer. But uh, yeah, um, I can't wait to get mines. I'm not going to order through Canakit. They take uh, too long. But for those of you who missed out through some of the other companies, uh, this is your definitely your all right, but before we go, let's take a quick look at some of the other approved resellers. Let's see if they are currently uh, taking some pre-orders. All right, so it does look like some of the other websites have also posted as well that they are taking pre-orders on these. Uh, some of these, you know, you can add to cart. This wasn't available the initial launch date, the day uh, that I first put up my video. And it also appears that they may have this official power supply available as well so that's pretty cool this was the one that i wanted so 
Uh, I'm not sure where this company is located. Let's go ahead and take a, take a look. Let's take a look at Element 14. Looks like they do have some available. All right, looks like they're, uh, they're based out of Newark. Out of stock right now in terms of uh, pre-orders. Do they have any four gigabyte models available? Looks like they are out of stock. So let's try another company. Uh, let's try Geek Factory. And I'm not sure where some of these companies are located. I know some are based uh, in the UK and overseas. All right, let's see here. Raspberry Pi 5. Let's translate to English. All right, it does look like some of them are taking these uh, orders right now as well, which wasn't available uh, last month. So, uh, again, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'll keep you updated in terms of any new processes or developments. Highly interested in uh, getting my hands on one of these. But uh, overall, we have a lot of good things uh, planned uh, for the Raspberry Pi 5. And uh, many of you have been anxious. And so uh, it's definitely been a growing thing. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. You guys all have a great night.